truth. Probably credibility. Newsworthiness. It's always been the same. Honesty. Schmooze better. They schmooze all the time, but they're lousy schmoozers. You know, that's what they do. They schmooze. PR. They no, they spin and schmooze. They got to get a balance between the spinning and the schmoozing, so that you can know that it's at least some, at least believable in some way. Not having people assume it's all PR. Not, you know, when you show up to tell somebody a story, uh, they assume you're just a flack. And, and how do you get beyond that? How do you establish trust? Uh, how do you make sure that your communication, your message, is, is judged to be real and legitimate and valued and, 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 and carried forward? Biggest challenge in public relations is the idea of transparency. The, the balance you have to walk between transparency and effective brand building. Now, that's not to say that they're necessarily in conflict with one another, um, but certainly the, the general public's expectation of, uh, in the case of big pharmaceutical companies, them being very transparent in their actions and motives uh, are important. And, and certainly public relations has always been a tool for that. Uh, and certainly the downside is you, you have to limit the spin um, to really be as transparent as you, you want to be with your audience. I think uh, too much spinning going on. And uh, the word spin should never be in any PR person's vocabulary. Because spinning means, if everyone, just take a look, I know it's more than 25 words. It, this gets me crazy. They, it's called the spin room when you're going after, you know, they have an election, they have debates. Spinning in the PR vocabulary means to spin the truth. It means to lie, everyone. So, so your guy goes up there and he's debating and you're going into his spin room. So what they're doing to you is they're lying to you in that room. So the word spin needs to leave the PR vocabulary completely. I think that the biggest challenge today is that people are used to the spin. There's just no way around it. They start with, this is going to be spun. So the public now, compared to 10, 15, 20 years ago, is so tuned to it that you're not fooling anybody when you spin it, so you got to like start on that basis if, or you can't have a, a shot at connecting up. The consumer is a cynic. Uh, every time that uh, public relations comes out, I think uh, in most cases it looks like public relations or spin, uh, and I think people smell it coming. I think uh, you know in in recent news situations uh, we've been. Um, uh, we've been privy to a lot of the behind the scenes and, the, and that strategy behind it. And I think the conversation now is starting with how are they going to spin it? So how does somebody um, uh, do their job being critiqued right out of the gate? I, 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 think it's, uh, I think it's hard for PR to come off as not PR when they're doing their job. I think that's their challenge. There's a question of like who leads social media, and I think that that can be a different answer for every agency, but the public relations folks, the engagement people, really have a chance to, to lead that charge. So I would say that's both their challenge and their opportunity. Responding um, probably quickly and um, on point with the message. I think there's so much clutter um, in efforts to do public relations to get the message out that uh, it's difficult to get it to stand out. I think every day the landscape changes with social media, which is a huge part of public relations. So it's keeping up with that landscape. Biggest challenge in PR, I'd like to see more integration, especially working in an ad agency involvement. Uh, often it seems that the PR is not fully uh, integrated. Uh, I think our firm does a pretty good, very good job of it, actually. Uh, but when you look around and you see some examples of, of work across the category, sometimes you can see there's a, there's a bit of um, uh, disjointedness. Metrics, no. <laughs> Public relations is a tendency to get a little soft. Um, and I work hand in hand every day with a great PR director. Um, and social media is a very big area for them. Um, it kind of steps over and combines with the digital platform. Um, but I think it's, it's, it is metrics. It's going to need to be measured more, particularly as we move more into social media. Um, and I think they have a harder time to do that in an industry, and I understand why, but clients don't necessarily understand why.